We are currently experiencing a huge timeline shift. And in this video, I'm going to talk about what that feels like, what you might be experiencing regarding that split or shift, and what you can do to anchor in and start to perceive your highest frequency timeline. If you're like me, you've been feeling a little bit strange lately. Not so much off, but a little bit weird. Kind of like you're walking in between two worlds. That's what I've been experiencing recently, and that is because these timelines are separating and splitting. We are splitting off the old and the new, and you're able to start to perceive both of them. So as these continue to split, it's like you're rising up higher and higher in frequency, and you have a bird's eye view of two different Earths. So you have the choice which version of Earth, the old Earth or the new Earth, do you want to focus in? Do you want to choose to become your primary reality? Now, as we start to release the ties from the old earth, you may start to feel a little bit anxious, a lot of anxiety coming up now. And that's because your ego is so conditioned to a 3D or old earth reality that when you start to rise up and pull away from that, the anxiety really kicks up. It's trying to get you back into the old timeline. So it is so important when you start to feel this anxiousness, this jitteriness, this spaciness, that you bring it back into your body. Bring your awareness, bring your consciousness, focus that energy back into your body. That is just simply a sign that you are becoming ungrounded. And actually, you're becoming ungrounded or untethered from the old earth. You are now rising up into higher frequency bandwidths where you can start to experience new earth. So you want to bring your body with you. So as your consciousness rises up into these higher frequencies, into the fifth, sixth, seventh dimensional fields, you want to bring your body along. So take some of that high frequency energy, bring it back into the body by focusing into the body, grounding, anchoring into your root chakra, anchoring into the lower chakras, anchoring into the planet, and helping your energy flow through your body. That will allow your body to shift as well, and you will start to anchor in to a new Earth reality. Your consciousness will match your physical vessel, and you'll be able to really start to experience the magic of a fifth dimensional reality. This is a huge choice point. There's a lot happening in the world, a lot happen happening in the collective right now, and that is just the weirdness of these overlapping timelines. But the more you start to feel that weirdness, that just simply means that you have the ability to perceive these changes. You're not stuck to the old anymore. You are rising, your consciousness is increasing, and you're able to start to experience a new reality or a new way of being. And the more you start to feel this untetheredness to the old reality, almost like you're dreaming. I've been feeling like I'm walking in a dream state for the last few days, maybe the last week, right? The more you actually have a choice to be able to anchor into whatever timeline or version of reality you choose. But it's so important to be able to allow yourself to feel all of these strange, detached feelings that are coming up, all that anxiety, maybe the fear of the unknown, so that you can heal all of these old traumas. Again, these traumas were anchoring you to a lower frequency timeline. You want to cut those ties, cut those tethers. Your higher self is expanding your field and it's pushing you up into these higher frequency energies. And that feels really, really uncomfortable, really disoriented and disorienting and really, really strange. So we want to start to lean into that energy and bring it into the body so that our physical body can go with us. So you will find that the more you focus inward and start to really become an active participant in getting your energy flowing through, you're getting your energy moving, you're going to be able to anchor in to these higher frequency timelines. And you're going to start to see these higher frequency emotions of love and compassion and joy and gratitude. You'll start to feel them inside. And then you're going to start to see them reflect externally. That opens up the doorway to be able to start to experience your guides, your higher self, more tied into your intuition, your third eye lights up, 
all the energies that was stuck in the lower chakra starts moving up your central channel, can get up into your brain where you could start to perceive it. And then it comes out in this toric field and you start to be able to perceive it in reality. So think of it as that these two earths are splitting. You have the bird's eye view. You can look at both of them. Your ego wants to take you back to the old, but you want to go to the new. So you need to get in the driver's seat and take control over that process and allow yourself to feel everything that's coming up. Your ego is just bringing back and bringing up all of these traumas and which represents stuck energy for you to process. So process the energy. Sit, be present with it. Allow yourself to feel it. Help it move through you so that your body can start to vibrate faster and resonate with higher frequency timelines. That way you become aligned. You become present. You become centered. You become more whole. And that energy can move through you, get up into your brain again, and come out magically into this higher frequency, new earth type of reality. Now, you're going to be constantly seeing things externally that's going to trigger a fear response for you. We've got this election cycle now, right? We've got disasters happening around the planet. We just had this major hurricane uh, here in the U.S. A lot of people experiencing a lot of suffering and disorientation. So you, as being part of the collective, can feel that. So that's coming up as well again that's part of the old and the new splitting. So allow yourself to feel that. When you can feel that, you can actually heal that and hold space for others who are experiencing these events that are creating suffering. So you as the empath have the ability to feel that. You're probably feeling it now, even if you're nowhere near any of these disasters, because that energy is active in the collective. Feel it. Breathe with it. Alchemize it. That helps you. That helps the planet. And that helps everyone else so that they can see a doorway through from the old way of being, the fear and the suffering, the anxiety. They can see through the doorway to the new and start to experience some of that peace that you have the ability to lead them to. But there's so many distractions coming out now to keep you in fear so that you remain anchored and in the control of a lower frequency timeline. As these timelines split, and you're feeling this detachment from the old, allow yourself to lean into that. Again, bring it back to the body. Maintain control of what's happening in here, and you will find that the higher frequency timelines will start to manifest for you. That is the path. That is the doorway to new earth. Do your part. Heal yourself. Heal the collective. And we're all going to navigate this journey as gracefully as possible. Thank you.